Welcome dear learners to yet another video on the topic human resource management. My name is Chayanika Senapati from the discipline of Maniram Devan School of Management, Krishnakanta Hondiko State Open University. So this topic uh, has been divided into two uh, video parts. Uh, so let us now discuss uh, what we are going to discuss in this video and also in the second part of the video. So after going through both the videos, you will be able to describe the concept of human resource management, outline the evolution of human resource management, elaborate on the functions of human resource management. We will also discuss about the role of HR executives in an organization and also lastly we will discuss about and explain the challenges of human resource management. So human resource management is a management function involving procurement of suitable human resources, train and develop their competencies, motivate them, reward them effectively and create an urge in them to be a part of the management team whose aim should be rendered, dedicated, committed service for the success and growth of the organization. This is the first video of the, on the topic human resource management and in this video we will discuss as I have already said about the importance of human resource management for an organization as well as the evolution of human resource management. Let us first discuss about the concept of human resource management. We know that people are the vital element in an organization. Without them, an organization cannot be run. They are known as a human resource, which means an asset or wealth that can be drawn upon for aid as and when required. Human resources are the source of strength, ability, competence, skill, creativity, knowledge, values, talent, efficiency. They have the decision making power and enthusiasm and so and so forth. These qualities of human resource uh, should be developed so that they can be effectively utilized for accomplishment of organizational, individual and societal objectives. Human resource management means managing people and it includes human resource planning, job analysis, job design, acquisition, training and development, compensation and benefits and so and so forth. Right placement of people in the right job is very essential for uh, an organization uh, for also the human resource manager So, uh, because it views people as a vital uh, social capital and moreover human resource management emphasizes the development and maintenance of employee of an organization as well as provides an ample of opportunities for their career advancement along with their timely counseling. So dear learners, let us now discuss about the evolution of human resource management. There is a close relationship between human resource management and depth of management as a whole. Although the concept of human resource management is new, uh, but its practice has been quite old. Uh, in India, the emergence of human resource management can be traced back in the year 19. Uh, 20s with the introduction of the concept of labor welfare in the factories in India. Now let us discuss briefly about the history of evolution of human resource management. First here we have to talk about the trade union movement era. The trade union act 1926 was passed and workers uh, started associating themselves with the trade unions uh, to safeguard and protect their rights. Next is the social responsibility era. During the 20th century, the outlook towards the workers changed and they are not treated as you know, mere uh, money generating resources but as uh, a humanistic approach was shown towards the workers. Then let us uh, discuss about the scientific management era. Here Frederick uh, Winslow Taylor was the father of scientific management and introduced the concept of scientific management in the United States of America early in the 20th century. Uh, Taylor developed some principles of scientific management which can be uh, jotted out here are the development and use of scientific methods in setting work standards, determining a fair day's work and the best way of doing work. Then scientific selection and placement of workers you know, best suited to perform the various tasks and provision for their training and development. Then time study to uh, analyze and measure the time taken in doing the various elements of a job. 
then motion study which involves you know close observation of the movements uh, required to perform a job then the standardization of tools equipments and machinery and working conditions then uh, incentive wages plan uh, with you know differential piece rate of wages for efficient and uh, inefficient workers then let us discuss about the human relations era during the 1920s and the 1930s many researchers felt that human resource management should be recognized uh, the workers as a human being having their feelings attitudes and needs this era is marked uh, by the contribution of Elton Mayo and his associates for his famous exper experiments at the Hawthorne plant which uh, took place uh, in the year 1924 to 1932 of the Western Electric Company in the USA. Their major findings were physical environment at the workplace do not have any material impact on the efficiency of the worker. That favorable attitudes of the workers and work team towards their work were more important factors. Then employee groups uh, based on social interaction and common interest exercise a strong influence on workers' performance. Then workers cannot be motivated solely by the economic reward only. More important motivators are job security, job recognition, then right to express their opinion on the matters related to them. So the human relations era viewed the modern organization as a social system. Then comes the behavioral science era. The behavioral approach to human resource management is based on the findings of intensive research carried out by the several behavioral scientists across the world. The major areas of contribution of this era are motivation, leadership, communication, organization change, organization development. Uh, these are some of the important highlights of the approach. So the, this uh, era has emphasized more on the individual behavior and group behavior. The informal leadership is uh, taken as more important than the formal leadership. Then people do not, who does not uh, dislike work, uh, but the job should be you know, made interesting enough so that it acts as a source of motivation to them. Then comes the system approach. The system approach um, can be defined as an organized and complex uh, whole and you know assembling, assembling or con, uh, con. <coughs> then comes the system approach this system approach is defined as an organized and complex whole or assembling or combination of things or parts forming a complex unitary whole the parts are known as subsystems and they are interdependent they are interrelated and interact with each other and are not static at all. This system approach consists of many subsystems or you may can say elements which are separate entities or units. All the subsystems are interrelated to one another as I have said. Then proper and timely communication are needed to facilitate you know, interaction between the elements and the interaction between the elements should lead to achievement of the organizational goal. Then let us discuss uh, the contingency approach. Uh, this approach to management is based on the assumption that there is no single best way of practicing management which perfectly fits into all types of situations. Depending upon the situation, the way of management also differs. Therefore, this approach is called sometimes situational approach. A particular um, approach to management which you know best fits into a particular situation and yields fruitful and productive results not necessarily will yield uh, some results in a, a different situation. So thus this approach gives stress on the fact that uh, there is no one universal way of managing in all the situation. Therefore it is imperative for managers to analyze and you know def uh, analyze the things in different situations and then use the best approach for the best uh, result. So dear learners with this we have come to the end of this first part of the video on the topic human resource management and in the second part of the video we will discuss about the functions of management, we will also discuss about the role of uh, HR executives in an organization and also we will discuss about challenges of human resource management. Thank you for watching this video.